Facebook CEO uh, Mark Zuckerberg breaking his silence now after we all learned that up to 50 million users, Facebook users, affected by that data scandal. Zuckerberg apologizing overnight, vowing to do better, and saying he'd be, quote, happy to testify before lawmakers if it's the right thing to do, he said. ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, back with us this morning. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, David. Good morning. That's right. With the backlash mounting and many wondering whether their information is truly safe on Facebook, the founder and CEO says, I'm really sorry. And I'm really sorry that this happened. Overnight on CNN, Mark Zuckerberg speaking publicly for the first time in the wake of that privacy scandal affecting up to 50 million users. Our responsibility now is to make sure that this doesn't happen again. We're going to go now and investigate every app uh, that has access to a large uh, amount of, of information from before we lock down uh, our platform. The Facebook founder promising anyone whose data may have been affected will soon be able to find out and also nearly daring lawmakers to regulate him. I, I actually am not sure we shouldn't be regulated. Um, you know, I think in general technology is an increasing um, increasingly important trend in, in the world and I actually think the question is more what is the right regulation. But the backlash is growing. Singer Cher tweeting that she had deleted her Facebook account calling the decision very hard but necessary and thousands sharing the hashtag delete Facebook including Brian Acton the co-founder of WhatsApp a company Facebook bought in 2014 for 16 billion dollars tweeting to his thousands of followers, it's time, delete Facebook. Facebook also now facing a proposed class action lawsuit and calls from those in Washington for strict regulations. We need to come in and think long and hard about how to deal with these threats. And Facebook and other uh, internet provider types need to come in and talk to us about what what they're doing internally. Users now learning more and more about what exactly Facebook knows about you and how they're finding out. What kind of data is Facebook collecting on its users? Facebook is not only tracking your behavior on the app itself, but it's also tracking you around the web using a series of web trackers. It's aware of more than just what you're doing on Facebook itself. So what does Facebook know about you? On Facebook, go to your settings, tap ads, then click your information, then your categories. We showed these Facebook users who say they only filled out basic details, what's up for grabs on their own profiles. The fact that they know that I'm in libraries, the fact that they know that I use uh, an iPhone 7, <laughs> the fact that I have liberal politics. I'm away from my family and away from my hometown. Like that's, yeah, but like it's weird to see that Facebook knows that. Really eye-opening. Rebecca, stick with us here. We're going to bring in Dan Abrams as well, of course, our chief legal analyst. And this has all been really eye-opening. But essentially, isn't this the way Facebook was built? It's free. You go, you use it, you put information in, and then advertisers know how to target you. So how is this different, and does it make them legally vulnerable with the first lawsuit now filed? Um, it is possible, but it won't be an easy case for them. Remember how this happened, right, which is person goes in, gives a personality quiz. People agree to take the test, and therefore their friends became vulnerable to this as a result. Now, you can argue that that was a, a Facebook problem, right? That that shouldn't have been the case. That it, and they've actually made changes since then. That, that a developer app shouldn't have been able to give access to all this information about friends just because one person agrees uh, to take this personality quiz. The fundamental problems legally are, number one, there are terms of service with Facebook, and you're going to have lawyers pouring through every single word in the terms of service. But there are big warnings on Facebook in all caps uh, that say things like, you know, we're not promising you that your privacy is protected. Effectively, mistakes happen. We're not responsible for what third parties do, etc. And so the argument's going to be twofold. Number one, these people agreed to do it. And number two, the terms of service. I love what you've said, though. You, you, you often say the dry cleaners will say in large print, we're not responsible yeah, yeah. for what happens to your clothes. Right. But ultimately, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can claim you're not responsible, right? Terms of service, as you point out, the dry cleaner with a ticket on the back. We, no matter what happens, <laughs> we're not responsible. Exactly. Responsible for your garments, and yet they are. Meaning, if they're negligent, you can't sign away your right to negligence. And basically, the argument here is going to be that Facebook was designed in a faulty way, that they knew or should have known that there were problems. Those are going to be the legal arguments, but they're just not that easy uh, to win because 
the terms of service still do matter. And Rebecca, you've been excellent in showing us what we can do to sort of uh, be aware of what we're putting out there and how we can scale it back. But when you scale it back, you also block yourself from being able to do things on Facebook. That's right. For example, we can show people this morning how to go onto Facebook and block some of the information apps are getting on you. So for example, if you go on your Facebook page and you take a look right now and go to this drop down bar and choose settings right here, go then from settings to this location right here. It says apps, choose apps, click on apps and that will take you to all of the apps that are currently logged in with Facebook. The most important thing you can do to restrict this is to turn the platform to off. That is going to restrict all of your apps from getting access to Facebook. But keep in mind, this then means you can no longer log in with Facebook on those apps. Right, stop. So that's crazy. About a dozen apps right then, right now logged in. And part of the legal argument will be people could have done more themselves yeah. uh, to protect their privacy to if they aware. wanted to. Yeah. To be aware. All right. Well, we're trying to help everyone. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Rebecca, Dan. Thanks so much.